And let's prayer certainly helps if you understand it. The problem today on earth is that most people don't understand prayer. Here's your soul. What did I say it was? Emotions. There's God's soul. What do you reckon a prayer might be? How does, how does this soul talk to this soul? Through prayer, but by emotions. By emotions. So when you direct your emotions towards God, that is a prayer. Does that make sense? Now. You can do that without even having a thought. You can actually direct your emotions towards God almost in a constant manner without even thinking about it. You know, let's say, let's say you see somebody really hurting. There's nothing you can do about it, but you really would like to do something about it. Well, that's a prayer. The fact that you really wanted to do something about it, if you direct that want to God, that becomes a prayer. Does that make sense? It's that simple. That's what prayer is. And those are the prayers that may be answered? All of those kind of prayers will be answered. However, there's another aspect of prayer, and that is God only answers prayers that deal with uh, causes. Do you understand what I mean by that? Yeah. All right. And what is the cause of the destruction of the earth. Disharmony, emotional disharmony, isn't it? It's emotions inside of us that cause us to desire things that are not in harmony with love. Does that make sense? That's what causes all of this other disharmony. So what would be an appropriate prayer? If we're dealing with causes, the appropriate prayer would be that we long for people to become aware of their emotions of disarmament and become aware of how to deal with it. Does that make sense? That would be a very appropriate prayer. An inappropriate prayer would be, God, come and fix this problem we've got in Florida on the, down the south on the east side of pollution. Can you see why? What caused the pollution? The emotional disarmament inside of men, right? So if God rubbed out the pollution, would the pollution come back? Yes. Yeah. Yes. God won't fix anything where it's going to return. You think about it, when you get rid of causes, and I have a whole discussion, a few people who met up with me earlier in the week, we had a whole three hour discussion about this, whole, this one aspect of cause and effect. It's a very um, simple, it's a very simple thing to understand, but God will not answer prayers that only deal with effects. Because it's a pointless exercise when you think about it, isn't it? Right? It's a bit like, you know, um, trying to fix something in your life when it's only the effect of what the real cause is. You have to fix the real cause, then the problem is fixed for good, isn't it? Yeah. And it's the same with God. God fixes problems for good only when the cause is addressed. And God, by the way, doesn't fix the problem. God makes aware to man the truth by your prayer, by a heap of synchronistic events. And that's what causes man to become aware of how the problem is prepared. But a prayer, an appropriate prayer, is a, a prayer is always an emotion directed towards God. Does that make sense? 